All right, everyone, it's time for another delicious MRE meal, beef goulash and all sorts of other good shit. I thought I pressed record, then I realized a minute later that I hadn't. Thankfully, I didn't actually open anything other than getting the uh, accessories out. So I'm going to go through it anyway. Anyway, this is menu, uh, I can't remember, menu 22 or something, uh, beef goulash. Again, sent by a subscriber. I'm going to enjoy this. Beef goulash. This has carrots, spinach, other things in it. It's probably pretty good. Get that ready in a minute. Now, this has something called patriotic sugar cookies. <laughs> I cannot wait to see. I'm assuming like it's probably like red, white, and blue or something like that. I can't wait to see what the fuck that is. We have strawberry jam and peanut butter. And my chunky peanut butter. Well, what they call chunky, I can't feel much in the way of chunkiness in it. Uh, and this, I'm assuming, is meant to go on the wheat snack bread. Like a PB&J, sort of. So a second meal, almost. They give you applesauce as well. You could put that on the snack bread and be more moist. And then you have, actually, and this is what I'm going to be drinking, you have two beverages. There's the milk chocolate cocoa beverage powder. This, by the way, is pretty good. And then I have a lemonade beverage base. Sugar-free. So I'm going to be actually drinking this. Uh, instead and like I said before sometimes there's an easy open on these and sometimes it does not appear to exist and even if it exists yeah with an MRE you don't know necessarily that it will work Oof. Yeah, it smells like lemon 100% artificial flavors that's how you know that it's good yeah that mixes right up I'm gonna use the uh, MRE spoon Give me lemonade or give me death. As a kid, it was so fun to mix things like this and make like a little whirlpool. I don't know. <laughs> Just something that you do when you're young. We've got our flameless ration heater. You tear the top. Some people are saying measure the water and immediately put in the MRE. So I'm going to do it that way this time. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it gets hot, but it doesn't get so hot that you can't actually... Put it in or anything like that. Sometimes they don't want to stay open, actually. You don't want to overfill it. Well, if you do it a little bit, it doesn't really make a huge difference. Yep. Perfection. So this time, we're going to appease people. A lot of dudes uh, commenting would say, well, you know, we never even had time really to heat the MRE. That's okay. I would eat it cold too. I mean, I don't have a problem with it or anything like that. Let's see, hopefully it will react. Sometimes you get one that doesn't want to. Okay, I feel a little bit of warmth at this end. And if it doesn't, uh, I guess you'll get your wish. I'll just eat it cold. Started on the patriotic cookies. People say if you need it, if you rub the fluid into the material, it's powdered magnesium, iron, and uh, if I remember correctly, sodium. Okay. Get that reaction started. Yeah. I feel heat at the top end, quite a bit of it. Not so much at the bottom end. Oh, it is starting to react. I'm trying to imagine, like, you know, you're out in the field or something, you're fucking hungry, and you have to do this shit for a minute. I probably just would eat it cold. Yeah. It's starting to puff up. Oh, yeah, now you're getting heat in the middle. It's soaking it up real nice. Oh, yeah. Just pretend that it's an unwanted baby. Anyway. So that'll, you know, do its thing. Hopefully. Come on. There we go. In the little thing, it says a rock or something. Uh, actually, you're supposed to prop it up at a slight angle. Yeah, you can see a little bit of steam coming out. I want to try this first, actually. Well, that's heating. Whirly, whirly. No. Spoon clank, military style. Of course. Yep, it's good. It's just like lemonade. It has a slight artificial flavor. By the way, this applesauce... Uh, applesauce enhanced with maltodextrin for increased performance. So yeah, it'll get your cock hard, 
uh, and it can cure AIDS. By the way, YouTube, that is just a joke. Disclaimer, not real medical advice. I really want to see these. What are patriotic cookies? Okay, yeah, you can smell the hydrogen from that. Yeah, there's some good heat down there. I don't think that's going to be fully heated, though. Here, yeah, just a second here. The top's heating really well. The bottom, a little bit less so. Come on. I really want the whole thing to react. It'd be better to eat it cold than to have it just lukewarm. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Okay. Ooh. All right. Now. Yeah. Now I think we've got it going. Stay. Mind you, I really need to try these. Hopefully this is actually easy open. No, of course not. No. Being a soldier must be weird. All right. What are patriotic cookies? Mm. Oh, they smell good. I expected it to be red, white, and blue or dyed or something. How are they patriotic? Uh, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? I guess it's like a little... Is that supposed to be a presidential seal or something? Uh... I'm good. I don't really like sweets very much. Sugar cookies I can tolerate. I'm not understanding how these are meant to be patriotic, though. I don't know. They're all crumbled up anyway. Uh, whatever. <laughs> At some point, there was some sort of design on them. I'm assuming like a little eagle and stars or something. Couldn't you put like red, white, and blue dye on those? That'd make them more patriotic. I guess they would think that was the colors of the Russian flag. It'd be a big problem in this postmodern era. By the way, I'm going to save the milk chocolate because I've already got the uh, lemonade. And you've got all these other things. You've got salt if you need it. I'll use that if I need to for the entree, which is warming up some, I guess. You get your toilet paper or whatever it is. Gum. Should give you Nicorette gum. I'm probably going to use the peanut butter, but not the strawberry jam, actually, on the wheat snack bread. And this bread, by the way, is actually pretty good. It's better than the crackers. This is a better advent than the uh, crackers that they give you in some memory. Smells perfectly fine. It's definitely got a bready flavor, if that makes any sense. I mean, a bready scent, if that makes sense. Tear at corner, it says. But then there's no actual tear line. See, they never seem to work properly. Wonder if any soldier ever gets like completely ape shit. Says Oh Jesus Christ. Says fuck it. Oh well yeah, that works actually. You can see what they consider chunky peanut butter. Goes completely insane and then decides to shoot the MRE open. <laughs> a sickened glory hole yeah it's privileged. peanut butter apparently it'll last longer than basically anything else steve emery info he had uh peanut butter i think from world war ii or the korean war or some crazy era like that that's good not very chunky multi-purpose uh utensil they're going to change the name. It's no longer going to be Spoon. Again, I'm surprised they don't give you a spork. But anyway, he had uh, peanut butter that was like, you know, what, 60, 70 years old. Hmm. Perfectly fine. Bon Appetit. Nah, I could put the jam on. Yeah, why not? I guarantee this won't tear easily, so fuck it. I'm just going to carefully carve up the corner. I don't think that was quite enough. Very carefully. Come on. There we go. Hmm. It'll look like the guts of your enemy. Destroy them without regard. Yes, oh. 
See the intestines oozing out of his body as you bayonet him. Yes. Hail Uncle Sam. That'll be the next army recruitment ad, by the way. Okay, that'll be reasonably warm. I'm going to polish some of this off first, though. <laughs> this is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, according to U.S. military standards. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Actually, that jelly is nice and seedy. I'm surprised. Oh, yeah, it's uh, it's the real st the real shit. It's just a strawberry puree with pectin and then some sugar added. That's like actually legit jam. I expected to have some weird artificial flavor, with uh, probably with benzoamphetamine added or something. Hmm. Okay. Definitely better than the cheese spreads from the other day. By the way, people said it wasn't good. I had to get sick from it. Fuck. You don't understand my uh, intestinal system. I can digest things that most people would turn their nose up at. I was born and raised poor. I do not care. If this were limeade, it'd be like something from the Fallout universe, dude. So, high sugar, no sugar, technically, I don't know why they do that with the drinks. Uh, supposedly, America-loving sugar cookies, I think. <laughs> Again. <laughs> America is fractured and uh, overly sugary. Realistic statements, I believe. Okay. Yeah, it's still pretty hot. Okay, we'll give that another minute uh, to cool down a little as I check out the Zapple sauce. I think that's supposed to be a Z. Technically, it's applesauce, but, you know. Enhanced applesauce. <laughs> Enhanced. These are like the things you give to little kids also, but they, they can be tasty. Actually, some of the uh, European MREs, especially the UK ones I've noticed, the uh, stuff, you know, just applesauce. The stuff that they put in there literally is like exactly the same as what you can get civilian on the shelves. Just applesauce, completely, uh, completely mundane. Sugars, twenty six grams. Yeah, if you're not marching five miles a day, you'd get diabetes from it. totally unremarkable but as it has chemicals in it so you know it's enhanced yeah. it does have a slightly different flavor i think from the applesauce you get in the store like an odd um aftertaste of some sort if you uh can't really place it some sort of a chemical way. I'm sure it's perfectly healthy. You know, they're giving it to dudes that are like, you know, 50% muscles. So. Mm. Well, that's not bad. It's kind of hard to fuck up peanut butter. The U.S. military will be making fake peanut butter at some point. Make it out of soy, I guess, or bugs. Think of all those peanuts that suffered for you to eat your meal. Eat other life forms instead. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's got to be okay by now. Now you can tear it here in order to remove the MRE more easily. Supposedly, when it gets wet, it doesn't like to tear the same way. Oh, for the love of Christ. fucking mess this is normal by the way in military goods oh yeah now then yeah that's reasonably warm you have to wipe it off to make it actually semi easy tear now on these ones I guess the idea is you tear it straight across here and you 
push this down sort of like a little bowl. I'm not interested in doing that. I want to eat it from the packet like the normal old style way. Because I'm hardcore, motherfucker. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, smells good. Yeah. Doesn't look like much. I guarantee that would be a sought after. You can tell from the smell that it's well made. It's the most attractive food. Goulash is always like that, though. Like, isn't it like Eastern European, I think? It's not meant to look good. It's just meant to be filling. So I'm going to try to show you this in just a sec. Oh, yeah. Goulash time. Actually. Very good. Quite tomatoey. A little bit of an artificial smoky flavor. The beef is, is good. Not really seasoned, but it's good. They shouldn't bother with the spinach because you can't taste it. It's got some barley, I believe, in it. Yeah. Excellent. Oh. No. Nah, it's not going to ooze out or anything. Yeah, that's good. Honestly, though, I think this is technically better. <laughs> oh, peanut butter and jelly. How can you go wrong with it? Pretty much everyone had it growing up. Goulash, to some people, it's like a foreign concept. I ate it as a kid. A lot of people would be like, what the fuck? So it's basically lasagna without uh, without the cheesiness. Made in San Francisco. Well, they do need things for your ass, you know, in that particular case. LighthouseSF.org. For the blind and visually uh, impaired. Why would blind and visually impaired people need different uh, toilet paper? I don't know. We're never going to get an answer to that question. Government should ban the military from buying anything made in California. Just as a protest against that whack-ass state. No offense to the declining number of Californians that are out there. Mm. Can't wait till they lose electoral power. Yeah, I gotta say this is definitely, it's better than the maple sausage, but there is a persistent um, artificial smoky flavor. You know how like certain like cheap smoked cheeses and stuff, it's not, they're not actually smoked. They've got an artificial sort of carbonized flavor that they spray onto it. It tastes a lot like that. But, I mean, if it's an MRE, they're not going to give you smoked meats and stuff like that. We're not the French. Being in the military is about killing people, not about eating. Believe it or not, some people wouldn't understand. Mm. Oh. Mm. I gotta say, it's pretty good. I like the fact that there's barley in it. I'm a, I'm a fan of that. Or whatever the fuck grain it is. Yeah, this is um. This is the second best I think entree I've had. The best one was the vegetarian lasagna. Oh my god, with beans and shit. Seriously, the vegetarian ration menus are better than the ones with meat generally. I have a theory about that. If you'll allow me to expound, all the woke people want to get you know the. The 10 soy suckers that actually have enough muscle mass to be in the army. They get a higher budget than the people developing the non-vegetarian MREs. Because they're so worried about not being able to attract people to the military. So they get extra money. They have a smaller clientele. They're able to allot more uh, resources 
to each menu because there's only a few of them. And so the menus tend to be better. Just a theory that I happen to agree with. Tell me in the comments if you agree. Yeah. I don't know what to do with the patriotic cookies. It's like, uh, now they're not bad. They're just standard sugar cookie. I just don't understand how they're patriotic. They've been all crumbled up. I can't even decipher. I'd have to piece them together like an ancient artifact in order to tell what was actually on the cookie. I'm assuming a little eagle surrounded by stars. Why don't you put red, white, and blue uh, dye in them or something? Then they'd actually be patriotic. I don't think if someone's joined the military, they don't need to be reminded of patriotism anyway. Give them the fucking sugar cookies. Better yet, discontinue those and give them a different snack. Mm. Rice beef goulash? I gotta say it's good. The beef is crumbly. Falls right apart. Really well done. I give the goulash an 8 out of 10. All done. Sad. I missed that. To get another one at some point. The Zapple sauce is funny. I think it's like sometimes with MREs though, because they're meant to be long lived, long storage life, they're overpacked. So you get like a huge amount of packing for how many ounces? Four and a half ounces of applesauce is <laughs> half of a normal serving, but it's fortified with chemicals. Blah, blah, blah. Mm. it's good again it does have a little bit of an undertone to it you can tell that there's a little bit extra in there that is a really good MRE overall some people are like oh you shouldn't warm it up you know you got five minutes to eat it okay thankfully I am not in the same boat I've got so much shit. Mm. Yeah, at this point, you can use this as a trash receptacle. I'd hate to uh, see what the military considers to be smooth peanut butter. There's almost no chunks in it. Like, there's like three little tiny bits of actual chunky in the peanut butter. And that's the chunky version. Now, I really like chunky peanut butter. I always did as a kid. I always preferred it. They had this grinder. There's this uh, store. They probably still have it there. It's called Gillingham's, actually, in uh, Woodstock, where I grew up. And they had a machine there, and it was full of peanuts. And you turn the machine on, and you can grind your own, uh, your own uh, peanut butter. And it would always come out extra chunky. And I used to think that was great. And they didn't care, like, because I was a kid. Like, if I wanted to just grind, like, a spoonful and eat it, they didn't really give a fuck. So I got free peanut butter. I did that with candy ones because it was uh, sold by the pound. So I put one non Perriel, uh, actually, on. <laughs> They're like, yeah, I'll just take it. <laughs> Shout out to the people at Gilliam's. Hope you survive the, uh, the pandemic of stupidity currently going on. Hmm, now the applesauce on gone. Yeah. There's an undertone there. It's not unpleasant. It's just you can tell that it's not just applesauce. Uncle Sam put a little something special in your food. Hopefully it won't poison you or turn you into a super mutant. It's funny that the most interesting potential part of the meal turned out to be the least actually interesting. The goulash was great. Again, they've got to retain that. It's amazing. Uh, you can't go wrong with the wheat snack bread. Everything else is fine. The drink is fine. The applesauce is Kind of superfluous, but it's fine. I just... Sugar cookies. Patriotic. This is the only way we'll get any of the uh, bread liners to eat anything patriotic. It does have soy lecithin in it, so, you know, they'd be right on board. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But yeah. I got, you know, gum, salt. I can eat the salt packet randomly if I wanted to. These last for a thousand years anyway. 
Yeah. Good MRE. Don't worry, I won't waste that. So any of you out there that are moms or grandmas, don't worry, I'm not being a heretic. But yeah, that's about all. Peace out.